trigonometric ratios or functions so in this lecture we will drive the ratios of trigonometric functions for this we let xy plane and uh, let with ox as initial axis and theta be the angle with terminal side oa and this theta measures in radians let there is a point p lies on oa xy and draw a perpendicular from p to the x axis and name it q and uh, here the length of this op is r so here you see so we get a right angle triangle so we make it again so this is a right angle triangle o p q here as you see this point is p is x y so this side is x and this side is along y is small y small x small y r and here in trigonometry we name these sides as this is base perpendicular hypotenuse and for the sake of formulas we name this as b perpendicular as p and hypotenuse as h with these notations now we are uh, going to write the values of uh, trigonometric functions or we name it as t ratios so the formula is sin of theta is equals perpendicular that is what perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is y upon r cos theta equals base upon hypotenuse so this is x upon r tangent of theta is equals perpendicular upon base y upon x now how can we remember these formulas so for the sake of formulas we will make uh, a small trick here uh, to remember these formulas we just write physics biology physics history history biology we just remember these names so the first column is sin this is cos this is tan so see how much is sin of theta perpendicular upon hypotenuse this is the formula and what is cos of theta base upon hypotenuse and what is tangent of theta perpendicular upon base y upon x now next we have cosecant theta equals hypotenuse upon perpendicular that is r upon y secant of theta hypotenuse upon base r upon x cot of theta base upon perpendicular that is x upon y now as you see that cosecant is exactly reciprocal of sin so we get a relation here 
that cosecant of theta is 1 by sin theta. So as you see cosecant is hypotenuse upon perpendicular and sin is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So they are reciprocal of each other. So we write here cosecant. So if you if you want the formula for cosecant then we write hypotenuse upon perpendicular. If you want for sin then we write from up to down and if you want for cosecant then we go from down to up. Secant theta this is 1 by cos of theta and similarly cot of theta is 1 by tan of theta. So that means this is secant of theta and this is cot of theta. Okay, with these formulas now we are able to derive some identities. The first of them is what is sin square theta plus cos square theta. Now to derive this we put the values sin theta is y upon r. So it becomes y square upon r square plus cos theta is x upon r x square upon i square. So taking LCM we get y square plus x square upon r square. So as you see this is a right angle triangle. So by Pythagoras theorem what we have? We have x square plus y square is equal to r square. We all know this formula. So putting this value here. So this is r square upon r square which will cancel out equal to 1. So we get a formula that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Next formula, secant square theta minus tan square theta. So how much is secant theta? R upon x, R square upon x square. And what is tan theta? Y upon x, Y square upon x square. Again taking LCM, R square minus Y square. So again using this formula, how much is R square minus Y square? X square upon x square which again gives 1. So second formula is secant square theta minus tan square theta is also 1. And the third one is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta. How much is cosecant here? r square minus r square upon y square and cot is x square upon y square. So taking LCM r square minus x square upon y square. So using this formula again taking x square to other side so we have y square upon y square which again cancel out to give 1. So based on these formulas now we have some numericals. First numerical of this trigonometry is this. We have to prove left hand side is equal to 0. So we have to simplify this expression and prove this equal to 0. So we start with left hand side and prove this left hand side equal to 0. So to solve this we take the LCM. LCM is cos A plus cos B into sin A plus sin B. And when we multiply this we get sin square A minus sin square B plus cos square A cos square B which further can be simplified to combining plus and minus terms. So combining this and this first we write sin square A plus cos square A and taking minus common minus sin square b plus cos square b divided by cos a plus cos b sin a plus sin b. So as we proved the first formula in trigonometry is 
साइन स्केयर थीटा प्लस कॉस स्केयर थीटा एज वन तो हेयर साइन स्केयर ए प्लस कॉस स्केयर ए एज वन कॉस ए प्लस कॉस बी इन टू साइन ए प्लस साइन बी तो दिस वन वन कैंसल आउट दिस इज जीरो विच इज राइट हैंड साइड सो दिस इज हाउ वी प्रूव द रिजल्ट नाउ नेक्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल प्रूव दैट कॉट पावर फोर थीटा प्लस कॉट स्केयर थीटा इज इक्वल टू कोसिकेंड पावर फोर थीटा माइनस कोसिकेंड स्केयर थीटा तो अगेन तो वी विल रिकॉल ए फॉर्मूला तो दैट वी हैव प्रूव फॉर दीज द फॉर्मूला इज कोसिकेंड स्केयर थीटा माइनस कॉट स्केयर थीटा इज वन तो वी मेक यूज ऑफ दिस फार्मूला to prove this expression so here again we prove that left hand side is equal to right hand side we start with left hand side that is cot power 4 theta plus cot square theta so using this formula as we see that cot square theta equals cosecant square theta minus 1 now again as you see we can take common cot square theta from here and we are left with cot square theta plus 1 so again using the formula cot square theta and what is cot square theta plus 1 this is cosecant square theta and putting the value of this cot square theta that is cosecant square theta minus 1 times cosecant square theta so which is further cosecant power 4 theta minus cosecant square theta which is right hand side next numerical prove that multiplication of these three t ratios is equal to 1 so we start with left hand side secant theta 1 minus sin theta secant theta plus tan theta so as we know secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta we just put the value of secant theta as 1 minus cos of theta 1 minus sin theta all other things as it is so taking cos theta inside so this will be 1 by cos theta sin theta by cos theta secant theta plus tan theta so again 1 by cos theta is secant theta and sin theta by tan theta uh, cos theta is tan theta plus tan of theta now what is this this is a minus b a plus b so we all know the formula the formula is a square minus b square secant square theta minus tan square theta so this is again a standard formula which is equal to 1 right hand side so next numerical that is to prove square root of 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta is equal to cosecant theta minus cot theta so to prove this so as we are doing we start with left hand side this 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta so what will we will do is we will have rationalization here we will multiply with 1 minus cos theta to the denominator as well as to the denominator inside this square root you see what will we get we will get 1 minus cos theta whole square upon this is a plus b a minus b 1 minus cos square theta so again rewriting this as 1 minus cos theta whole square and using the formula 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sin square theta So square root with cancel with the square, we are left with 
वन माइनस कॉस थीटा अपॉन साइन थीटा तो सेपरेटिंग दिस इंटू टू पार्ट्स वन बाय साइन थीटा माइनस कॉस थीटा अपॉन साइन थीटा वट इज वन बाय साइन थीटा कोसी कैंड थीटा वट इज कॉस थीटा बाय साइन थीटा कॉट ऑफ थीटा विच इज अगेन राइट हैंड साइड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गिवन दैट कॉस थीटा प्लस साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू स्केयर रूट ऑफ टू कॉस थीटा एंड वी हैव टू प्रूव कॉस थीटा माइनस साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू स्केयर रूट ऑफ टू साइन थीटा नाउ टू प्रूव दिस we start with the given cos theta plus sin theta is equal to square root of 2 cos theta squaring both sides we get cos theta plus sin theta whole square is equal to square root of 2 cos theta whole square so applying the formula of a plus b square we get cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 cos theta sin theta is equal to so square root of 2 becomes 2 cos square theta now from here rearranging the term taking this on left hand side cos theta sin theta is equals taking these two terms to the right hand side so we already have 2 cos square theta minus cos square theta minus sin square theta so this can be written as square root of 2 cos theta Square root of two sine theta. We just separated two into square root of two square. Is equals. This is cos square theta minus sine square theta. So which is a square minus b square. So separating into two parts. Cos theta plus sine theta. Now whatever we want. we want cos theta minus sin theta so taking this to the left hand side cos theta minus sin theta dividing this by this term square root of 2 cos theta square root of 2 sin theta divided by cos theta plus sin theta and it is given cos theta plus sin theta is this cancel with this square root of 2 cos theta so we are left with square root of 2 sin theta so here we have cos theta minus sin theta so which is the desired result hence proved now next uh, we will again uh, revise whatever we have learned the formulas which is very important and helpful in uh, further topics the formulas that we learn are number 1 biology physics biology physics history history biology so we have learned sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse cos theta is base upon hypotenuse and tan theta is perpendicular upon base and uh, cosecant is reciprocal of sin theta secant is reciprocal of cos theta and cot is reciprocal of tan theta and one more formula that we already used that is that this tan theta may be written as p upon h into h upon b where h is cancel out we left with the p upon b only what is p by h sin theta and what is b by h this is cos theta so also tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta and the 
other formulas very important formulas are sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 secant square theta minus tan square theta is also 1 cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is also 1 so these are the important formulas